Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So, a bunch has happened between this episode and the last one. Now, I recorded the last episode, I think it was Tuesday evening, Monday evening, uh, and it's Thursday now. So, the first five episodes have been recorded. The one you'll see, well, when you saw yesterday, was uh, part of a pre-record. Now, I've, I've taken uh, the first four episodes of air to taken some notes from what people have uh, mentioned about the uh, the series. So a couple things have happened. Number one, we've left Ur Curane and we're over on Detroit right now. Um, what I did was, if you go back to navigation real quick, uh, I knocked off the last couple half skull missions over here, which were really nothing going on there. Um, you notice now the locals. Uh, oh, really? That quick? Okay, because the last time I looked at this, it was 27% for Canopus and mostly locals. I don't know. I guess it advances as we go because we took 16 days to get here and we went past the financial report. So I wonder if that was what happened. That's interesting. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how... Um, how this figures into I don't know I'm not sure how the how quickly everything expands here anyway um, so we jumped over to the Detroit because it had at the time 37 percent pirate activity now it's at 42 um, so uh, we jumped over to see if we could pick up some pirate missions plus to pick up some higher skull missions now there was, I, I pulled off I think it was three half skull missions on the last planet I think it was there was a ambush convoy, a defend base, and an assassinate, and there was no competition. They all went without a flaw, like one day repair each for all, all our guys was like nothing. Um, so I, d I picked up a few things. Now I haven't outfitted any of the mechs with with that stuff. I'll do that later. I'm just going to say that whatever this first mission is, and I know what it's going to be, um, we're going to pick up these supplies from that mission. We're just going to steal it. So that's kind of how I'm going to take it. Uh, so what I might do is the low skull, because we're in need of gear, right? We don't have any gear, really. So um, the low skull missions on a planet, I might just knock those off in between episodes real quick just to pick up some equipment. Um, now, we didn't get any enough mech parts to put any mechs together. We picked up a couple of urban mech pieces and an Icarus piece or something like that, um, but not much. Uh, so I'm going to try and take components for things that we don't have. So for instance, I picked up a uh, double uh, load of LRM ammo. Um, what else? Uh, fire control system for flamers. Some different flamer ammo for our flamer. Uh, like the heavy flamer. I can't remember. A couple of other things. Um, a couple cores I think we picked up for C-bills and whatever. Uh, as you can see, we're doing fairly well with sea bills. So I'm not really worried about that. I may actually get into the surplus drop, drop leopard um, or leopard dropship a lot earlier than I normally would. Uh, if we go to engineering, you'll notice we're moving along pretty quickly here. We've got all as much repair and refit as we can get going. Recreation is as high as it can go. Working on the new power systems now. Um, improved power systems, which will give us the second habitat pod and a few more of these things down here and stuff. So working on that um, and so that's that now I noticed in one of the tool tips it said talk to Sumer about getting um, questions about navigation tell uh, here we go let's talk about keeping the mech warrior safe during combat extraction so this is talking about finding a way to um, get aerospace fighters to cover us to get out. Could open a path for me during insertions. What are the options for aerospace support? Pick up a light, medium, or heavy wing. Docked into the Leopard. Um... Let's see what the medium wing is all about. Two to three round delay for withdrawal. Leopard suffers 40% of ground damage. 
70 grand a month maintenance. Oh, I see. So we can pick up a lance. That's interesting. What's the heavy wing like? Probably like 120, 100 of grand a month. 80% of ground damage. 1 to 2 delay for withdraw. Oh, that's interesting. We're going to leave it for now. So let's just go without aerospace coverage for now. But that's... I, I saw that in a tooltip. That's really cool. That is really cool. Um, okay, neat. I really like that. Um, okay, so barracks. Just real quick. Um, so our pilots are slowly gaining in stat ability. Um, Hotshot, Queen Bee, and Arachne now are all uh, good piloting and gunnery. Um, Earthquake got a little bit more gunnery. I just took, to, took gunnery for him. Um, and that's about it. Our main guy, I uh, brought my guts up a little bit for less heat generation so we get some more, more movement. Because um, when we fire the medium lasers and the, and the uh, missiles, we heat up pretty quickly. So hopefully that'll help a little bit. Not much, but it'll help a little bit. All right, so now we're on this planet. Let's let's take this first mission here. I'm going to go to barracks. Uh, sorry, uh, command center. All right, uh, so there's a few missions here. Like, I might pull off these missions, like I said, between episodes to capture Mason and battle Half Skull. It's really just to get salvage. That's all it is. But for the missions that we want to uh, take, like uh, uh, one and a half skull, maybe the one skulls and the two skull missions, if we take these, I don't know if we can do one, uh, two and a half skull. But definitely want to try these ones. We're going to take this one. Snitches get stitches. Ambush a convoy. Um, battle in the lowlands, or convoy ambush in the lowlands. So we're going to go ahead and take this one. I know it's against the planetary government, but we want to see if we can get some uh, rep with the, pi the pirates here. And let's accept this. And we're going to pull out the urban mech, only because I don't think it's going to uh, give us what we want. Let's bring Hotshot back in. It's not, it's not that fast. I mean, it's got two larges, but the Gladiator's better for melee, too, so we're stepping on vehicles, so we'll go this route. Besides, this is really the main lance anyway, so let's take these guys and go. Okay, here we go. Of course you do. Uh, okay. Um... So, they're coming from here? What map is this? And they're going there. Uh, okay. So we're like right in between them and the exit point. Uh, Alright, well, let's move up, I guess. I want to try and get some height here. All right. Let's see what we're up against here. What do we got on our side anyway? At least we got some mechs. What was that? A ghost? Uller? Kit Fox, really? How do they get a Kit Fox? Okay, Ignis SRM. What else do we have on our side? Just these two? That's a Kit Fox, isn't it? Kit Fox Pirate, really? Lucky guys. Shadowhawk Lamb, really? Ignis, a Joust. Is that a Ballista? Well, that's interesting. Eight damage. Um, okay, Ballista. AC-10 carrier, that's not, that's not good. Missile tank. 
Oh, man. Okay, let's not get into a position where they can use the arty on us. Let's get over here. Nah, I guess we're just braced for now. Until we can strike. We gotta spread out. Are they just gonna hammer us here? Okay, that's not so bad. Three missile, two ballistic. Oh, of course, PPC Heavy Weapons Carrier. Because what else would it be? Systems holding. Mm-hmm. I think we go in the trees. We're going to need direct line of sight on these guys sooner or later. I don't know what is part of the convoy and what is not. Three MML5, so that's interesting. What else do we have here? Two SRM Infernos, that's the Ignis and Heavy Flamer. Pair of AC-10s, pair of, that's bad. Sniper ar Artillery Indirect. 14%, point 0.9 on the Lamb, 16 on the Joust, 10, 16, 12 on the AC, 14. Let's go on the head guy. Those are probably all machine guns, but... Okay, so that is part of the convoy. Okay, not so bad. Losing armor. You're gonna regret that. Reporting heavy damage. Losing armor left and right here. Okay, let's walk it up here. Get our stability back. Now where is that? That's it right there, right? Twenty two percent. Let's leave these off so we don't get overheated. Just wanna see what else we have a chance at getting here. I'm gonna switch to incendiary for the better damage. 25, 15, 20 on the joust. It's got a lot of armor, man. All right, let's use the direct fire on this guy. Aye, aye. You. I think we need to get you in melee. We gotta be stepping on people here. Ah, oh, wow. Kind of out of our league here, I think. Okay, we hit with one for 20 damage. Problem is, is I don't want to put her into a position where a lot of guys can shoot her here. Like, we're going to do the most damage right here, but then they'll just kill her. Let's just back up for a second. Let's get up here. Just target the joust. Wow, nothing, huh? Negative damage. Repeat. I saw that. Damage. Got a nice smoke screen between you and the enemy. Where are you going? Stop backing up. We're not going to be able to do enough melee damage to that guy to destroy it in one shot. Okay, nice. At least somebody's come out to play. Jesus, these guys are fast. I don't think we can do enough damage to them. And the chances to hit, too. 
We may be a half skull above our pay grade for this. I mean, our weight level is right, but we just don't have the uh, the the good chances to hit and the. Um, well, that's pretty much it. I mean, the weapons are okay. We have. Okay, buddy. Now, if we. 34, it's double damage, 64. He's been damaged on both sides. That guy's been barely damaged. So let's go after him this way. 60% chance. Fifty-one damage. Okay, not bad. Where did we hit though? Picked up a blip. Okay, got the side. All right. Talk to me. Uh, do we engage the guys at the front or? 22%, that's it. <sighs> I mean, that's the optimal ra range right there. Okay, let's move up this way. Let's give those guys a bigger target to shoot for here. Let's go after this guy. We've already damaged him a fair bit. 22%, really? Alright, well. Do the best we can here. At least the lamb is not moving up to engage at this point. PPC heavy weapons carry. That's probably part of the uh, defender. Oh, of course he hit with both. The bastard breached my armor. At least you're hitting your own guys. That helps. Losing lots of armor. I'm under heavy fire. Okay. How far much further do they have to go? Not very far. Not very far. Two more turns and he's out. This guy's almost gone. Okay. See if we can finish this guy up. Pretty close. Use everything on him. Roger. Large hit. Okay. Target's taking a critical hit. Almost got the first guy. Almost. Standing by. How badly damaged. She gets hit by this AT-10 carrier. She's in a lot of trouble. Um, it's most likely going to move before it fires. That's still out of... Optimum range. Not that much better, though. Do we take the chance? I mean, we can take an AC-10 hit in one location, just not two in the same. Let's do it. we got to get on these guys now. They're going to get out of here. Uh, really great chances to hit. I'm going to use everything. I want to trash this guy, hopefully, in one shot here, but we'll see, what, we'll see how it goes. Copy that. 
Beautiful. Okay. Problem one solved. That's not optimal. That's optimal for the SRMs. It's kind of mid-range for both. Let's get down here. All right, we got to try and kill this guy. Okay. The only problem is now we have to delay the death is AC-10 carrier. Oh, great. At least it's only the arm. Wait a minute. How did our leg take such a big hit? Oh, I guess he must have penned a one shot on each. Okay, that makes sense. So we got to turn our left side, so this way. Moving out. Walk it down here. I'm going to fire with everything on this guy. Hope we do a lot of damage. Here we go. Okay, one medium laser hit. Ah, a bunch of missiles, not bad. LRMs are out. Well, we got standard ammo. So hopefully this AC-10 carrier moves forward and then fires on the guys up ahead here. Okay, a little bit of damage. Don't know who that was. There's the PPC carrier and then there's another vehicle over here. Okay, he missed. That guy's accurate. Internal structure damage. Yeah, we're moving away from there, don't worry. Where do you go on? 19? Okay. Nice. Penetra penetrated him. I don't know where though. Maybe the back. The back. Beautiful. Yes, okay, where were you hit? Torso. That's the right torso. So we need to present our left side to everybody. Let's get up here. Like that. On the move. How are we doing for stability? A better vigilance just in case. All right, fire what we can at this guy. Armor it is. One hit, nothing. All right, where are you going? Okay. Oh, he didn't move. He didn't move. Finish him up. Okay, we caught a break there. Wonder if he couldn't move. It's weird that all their defenders just kind of bailed and left the convoy. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. We're getting lucky here. Ah, kind of makes me wish I had one jump yet. No matter what I do, it's flames in the way. I gotta keep my left side turned to this guy. Fifty percent with the two mediums. It's less heat this way, so let's just go this way for now. 20 damage. It's probably about what we would have got with the missiles, but we got it all in one spot, so that's a good thing, I guess. <sighs> Should 
Should be able to take care of this AC-10 carrier. Who is that, the lamb? Yep. Waiting for orders. Okay, I want to keep our left side to this guy. It's going to walk it out, get our stability back, and fire straight up on this guy. Nothing. Nothing. Who are you shooting at? Okay. At least it's not me. Queen B on 20. Okay, that ghost is doing some good damage. Jump down to here. And we'll shoot this guy in the side. Yes! We ain't going to the LZ. I mean, we could, but... Just gonna walk forward a little bit. We started on the Ignis, or they have. Doesn't really matter which one. No joy. That's alright. 1% chance isn't all that much. Well, that's a line of sight. Fall in behind me. Wow. Target. Well, two hits, three hits. Not bad. I mean, like, no damage, but still three hits. Order. Um, how do we want to do this? I want to keep the height, I guess, but Engaging with target. this lamb's going to be hard to hit. No joy. Yeah. Okay, well, I think we rotate, well, I don't know, because here's, here's the thing is I don't want to move in Queen Bee because she's taking severe damage to the torso. So we can leave her back for now. Well, I'll get into get her into jump position where she can jump in and attack if she needs to. That's another hit for me on my arm. Breach. Internal damage. Yeah. It's sad that I kind of have to re rely on my two teammates here for a bit. Just wish I had more hard points on my mechs. Oh, uh, the one thing though, I will say... He's got AMS? What the hell's he got? The one thing I did pick up though is a uh, tag barrage. Off those three those three half skull missions. So I've got that sitting in my inventory. I can put that on somebody. I don't know who it's going to go on. Okay, you're not bad. Let's just move in. Present him the face straight on. Let's go after this guy. Man. Why are they just sitting in this valley though? That's the thing I don't know. I mean, I guess they're trying to stay in cover, but... To find some way to flush them out, I guess. 15, eh? They going first? I guess so. My armor's still solid. 
Good. You're going to need it all. Now, who is that? Is that the PPC carrier? It looked like it was coming from the Shadowhawk Lamb. Uh, let's just leave these off. Yay, three points. Three points is three points. Well, at least these guys are as bad a shot as I am. Okay, we need to get you down in here. Get to a point where you can uh, support us without exposing. Get into there. God, really, eh? Good thing we got a lot of missiles left. Ah, uh, six more. This rate's gonna take forever. We'll just let the ghost take care of everything. <laughs> That's about all I can do. Uh, how far can we sprint here? Oh, not bad. Not the best positioning, but if we lose the arm, it's only a medium laser. I got lots of those. Uh, 28. I'm going to take whatever chance is best to hit here. 22, 5. We're going to go after this guy. Roger that. Yeah, nice. Standing by. Moving out. Okay, moving closer. Getting ready for a death strike if we can get in there. Ready for orders. Side shots. Always better. Let's just tab through these here. That's the what is that? I have no idea. That's the Ignis. Wow. Come on, man. Get in there. Pirate's got some good gear. Okay, that's good. Lots of misses. Okay. Still terrible, eh? Let's get up here. Let's just use the LRMs on this guy. Just for now, we're going to move in next turn a little closer to get the SRMs going. Having mobility problems right now because of the heat. Mm-hmm. Don't follow your lead. You're not hitting anything worth a shit. Where are you going? Fires with a PPC in you, bail? What the heck, guys? What are they doing? I think he hit his own guy there. Orders. All right, got the LRMs on target now. Here we go. Nine percent, huh? At the melee, I've got melee that guy to death, I think. 43 on the Ignis, here it comes. Firing on the end. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. You're probably going to have to take this lamb on. 
Yeah, I wasn't expecting anything. Commander. Just hold tight for now. How much you got left in this torso? 22, yeah. Affirmative. Just stay right in here for now. Getting a little bit of sensors on these guys from her, so... It's always good to have that up to f have her up front, even if she's not firing. This Ignis though should be pretty close to dying. Find out here in a second. We're gonna push uh, Arachne in a little bit with the SRMs to hammer that uh, Ignis and hopefully kill it. I know really it's not the threat, but it's the best chance we had to hit anything. So. Yeah, he's still taking damage, though. So we're going to move her in. If I've got enough for uh, inspiration, we're going to go ahead and do that. Hopefully get initiative next turn and back up. Receiving you. We do. Get some vigilance going. Twenty-four. Thirty-five. I don't know, maybe we take the chance on this guy. Mm, let's try for the kill. I have no idea how badly damaged this thing is, but nope. It's got a lot of armor, man. Got a lot of armor. Well, she goes on 16. Not bad. Where are you going? Thought he was backing up there for a second. Okay, at least the Shadowhawk's starting to take some damage now. Here comes that Ignis. Get out of the way of that PPC carrier. And let's leave... those off. I don't know. We gotta drop the heat, so yeah. Okay, he's almost gone. Almost gone. Yeah, you stay right there for now. Don't even consider jumping in and try and get a kill till the end. At least that PPC carrier is missing. Can we get a... It's a back shot on that though. That's not bad. Not much movement on this, but we'll get one chevron anyway. Let's hit this guy. Actually, you know what? Let's go after the lamb because lamb's got the AMS. Oh, two hits. Nice. So when we use the archer, we can use it on the ignis. Okay, that should be almost 90 meters, so we should be in perfect range here. 37. Terrible chances to hit. Roger. Still going. Punch right through his armor. Yeah, but he's not dead! You had one job!
and they get the kill. At least it's a kill. This guy's overheating like crazy, so let's, uh... Although he does have the, uh... Let's do this. Switch to standard ammo. Let him use up all his, uh, AMS for this turn. Hopefully it uses it all up. And then we'll, uh hammer him with the uh, archer. Ow. Damage minimal. Oh. That's not minimal. Critical hit. Bad one, I think. <sighs> okay, he's super heating. So we gotta turn our right side to him. Confirmed. Fuck the heat, we gotta hit him. Oh. Finally moving up, huh? Wait, he's damaged on the far... What side are we looking at here? That's the back. Let's get him from this side. Moving to position. Hopefully we step on this side and kill him. Nope. Hopefully step on him at all. And you're going down because of course you are. Well, Order. F me. I'm not going to move with that guy. Let's just hope that they turn and fire on him. Confirm. God! Well, at least he went for the step. Receiving you. Wilco. Wait, that's... No, that's... Yeah, that's the wrong side. Because of course it is. What are you doing? Having trouble with something. So this guy can be heated up a little... What am I doing? Can be heated up a little bit here. So let's use the Inferno. Hopefully hit him with a couple of them. Okay, that puts him over. Yeah! Oh, he bailed out! We got so lucky! Alright, well, contract payment increased by 25%. We're gonna need it, because, uh, yeah. Damage. Doesn't look like we lost any components, though. Whew. Although she may have. Alright. There's no question what we're taking. I don't know, like... LRM-10 clan minigun. That's kind of cool. Well, let's roll the bones and see what we get here. Okay, that. MMO5 risk. Alright. That's alright. And not much else. Okay, so apparently you can just shift click on these. Oh yeah, to sell. So if we don't want something right away, like we've got lots of these, so we can just sell the stuff we don't want right away. Beautiful. 
and now we won't have any junk in our inventory. I mean, we might still have some junk, but at least we, we can get rid of the stuff we know we're never going to use. All right, we got a mech to put together. Well, 65,000, that's not bad. That's not bad for the damage we took. Okay, let's go to the mech bay real quick here. Storage. What the? Storage. And there you are. It's ready, this guy. Okay, well, let's see what he's got. Doesn't look like he's got much left. Doesn't look like he's got much left here. This whole one side is gone. How many pod arm, how many pod lower? Let's just repair it, see what we got here. Compact heat sinks, which I had to pull out. So these are all fixed now. Um, yeah, the core is fixed. So we lost, we had a minigun, Artemis fire control system. Doesn't have much left in the head. What happened? Nimble, nimble agile quirk. Allows to move after shooting. Beautiful. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with this, but... Uh, so technically this is kind of like an Omnimac then, I guess. Stealth Lamb? I mean, it certainly was hard to hit. Interesting. And we've got a second MML5, right? Where are you down here? Yeah, we've got a second one. And a tag barrage. We might be able to make something good out of this guy. I'm going to have to figure it out. But I'll uh, leave that for the next episode. So let's just confirm this. Let's get it repairing. 505,000, eh? At least we finally got a mech with some good hard points on it. Uh, okay. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to get the mechs repaired and ready to go. I might even just, since we got a lot of sea bills, I might even just loiter a bit and uh, and um, get this uh, um, Shadowhawk up and running. And um, so we'll have that for the next episode. I think that's what I might do. We'll just manage the tasks a little better here. Just crank this guy up to the top. Get that one back. Fire Bee, Gladiator, and Dervish can come back. The Archer, well... That's 12, that's 12, and then 8 days after that. So let's try and manage that a little better. 10, 13, or 15, and then 17. Okay, that's a little better. Let's go this route. All right, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.